decide that you wanted to be in the business? Um, well, it was ironic because I was in New York in art school and high school, and I started studying theater arts just because I fell in love with my professor at the time. Uh, he was life drawing in theater arts, and uh, I think my dad, Howard Smith, was making his first, one of his pictures at the time, and I got to go to set. Oh, he took me to my very first set, which was Nightmare no, Amityville Horror. Horror, sorry, that's the New York in me. Wait, no, say it again. The Amityville Horror. Horror. <laughs> and um, they were actually shooting in Lodi, New Jersey. And I was in high school, and I had seen the art department build two extra feet onto the side of the house so that they could do the special effects through the window. And I was hooked. That was it. I thought that was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen in my life. And I actually even have pictures of like James Brolin on set. And uh, that was, I think that was the cincher. And then years later, when I was still in high school, he was making another film called Pumpkinhead, and Stan Winston was directing it. And uh, I got to go to his studio, and there were a bunch of guys hanging around making sculptures and looking at books on corpses and weird animals. and. I was like, this is a job, like people make a living doing this. And that was the second thing that I guess steered my course. So after college, I moved out to LA and started set decorating. Sometimes when you work in a, in a job long enough, you kind of forget the special nature of it. But do you feel the, the magic that you lend to the craft? Uh, I'd like to feel it all the time. I mean, I think I do personally. I don't feel like I walk in and there's a collective, oh, you know, or anything. But uh, I think art department specifically, we do feel it. Um, sometimes it's so real that even fellow crew members, they show up and they think it's been there already. Um, so there really is a magic, even in the crew, I think, sometimes, or it's so good that, you know, they think it's real, uh, where they'll get really comfortable and lay down on the bed. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but uh, I do feel it is a sense of magic, like we're little elves. We come in at night, we make things happen. You don't see, if we're doing our job right, you kind of don't see us as the crew even, the daytime crew, if we're art department, we're kind of, we're ahead of you. So you shouldn't see us. So I do feel like we're magic little elves sometimes.